Hi everybody, this is Shalene of the Color in Book Nook. And this is, you know, it's the premiere for this Christmas diamond painting, what, three days? Two and a half days? I think this is an awesome idea that Pippa did. Um, I'm going to try to watch as many as I can. So I am getting out everything that I need to work on this. And this is an adult channel. I color, I do adult coloring, adult diamond painting. And we discuss adult things. Another disclaimer, I have five cats and a dog, so sometimes you will see them and hear them in my stream. And the dog sometimes will just get up and bark and scare the crap out of us, because that's what she does. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I am working on Christmas Kittens, and it is a... What size is this one? A 50 by 40. And I got it on Amazon through Crafty Mint. Um, I've only had a couple of junk drills. They've all been pretty good. So I really haven't had too many issues. So, Christmas... Christmas is a busy time <laughs> for everybody, I'm sure. I will be at my parents for half the day. So I will wake I Christmas Eve, I don't know what time at the time I'm making this video, will be at my niece's house for all my in-laws. And I don't know what time yet. My youngest son is 27 and he has a fiance and they have two boys who I babysit full time. They go to her side for Christmas Eve. And my oldest son works for Target. And he won't be getting out until I think he said 6 o'clock. So, he, he um, will usually come here afterwards and spend the night with us. Because he lives like 25 minutes away. So, and he likes to wake up in the morning with us on Christmas Day. So, that's what he will be doing. I already made this video once, but I got into 20 minutes of it and it shut off because the battery died. And I don't have an editing program, <laughs> so I had to delete to that and charge my camera because I thought it was charged and I guess not. I didn't check it before I started, I started making this video. <laughs> So yeah, we'll get up Christmas morning. And um sometimes we do stockings. We haven't been really doing them lately because sometimes the stocking stuffers can get quite costly. So we haven't been doing them like we used to. Although I do like the stockings. And most of ours are handmade. I cross stitch. I have been cross stitching for over 30 years. So when I found out about the diamond painting, I'm like, well, I don't think I'll like it. So last year in the summer, 2018, I had bought two kits. One was from Diamond Art Club and one was, I don't even remember where I got it from. It's been a while. 
and they sat up on the shelf till what the end of October I think and Anxiety Art Adventures was going to do a live stream diamond painting and she says you don't have any and I said well I have the two I really didn't want to do them so she said well pull one out I said well one's a partial so I pulled it out and within a couple minutes I was hooked so I went on Amazon and I bought a wolf to do for my husband for Christmas so I did finish that I had that done in like two weeks or one week I'm not sure so all I have to do is buy a frame and frame it for him and like everybody says just you know buy a regular picture frame so that's what I'm gonna do but I am really liking this so I went and I went on YouTube and I looked up diamond painting and I found Mrs. Coffee so I started watching her and while I was in her live stream I met Rachel Ray and a few other people so I just started subscribing you know to all these channels and I found Pippa and started watching her so I am new to this I just started diamond painting on my channel I think two weeks ago well it'll probably be like a month when you see this so I was really really surprised when she contacted me but I am really liking this and I was told I would only I would I wouldn't like the square drills but I bought a kit anyways from Diamond Art Club which was Happy Guy and I loved it so this one this one ended up being a square and I'm like well whoops it doesn't go there where's my tweezers I hid them my tweezers <laughs> here they are so yeah I bought this even though it was square and I really like this. I have a lot done on this. So I'm hoping to finish it soon. I'm hoping to watch a lot of your streams. I can watch quite a few of them. while this is today is Sunday December 15th this is a Christmas colorathon weekend that I am part of unfortunately my internet went out Saturday afternoon it did not come on till almost midnight because we were getting really crappy wet snowy weather No. my internet is a satellite because I live out in the country so yeah so do anybody have any Christmas stories I remember one Christmas we had woken up to no power and a lot of snow <laughs> And luckily we heated mostly, I, I was a teenager, we heated mostly with a wood-burning stove. So my mom had a um, cast iron pot and she cooked the ham in that on top of the wood-burning stove. Luckily we had a gas stove 
so she was able to use the pilot lights to cook on top of the stove top. But the ham was cooked on the wood burning stove. And the plows got out and that my grandparents were able to come. My Christmas day was always at my parents. My grandparents always came later on in the day. And then when I got married and had children, when the children were toddlers, we ended up switching Christmas to my house because it's so much easier than carting them all around when they just opened up toys. So I had it for many years here at my house. And every year I had something different. Sometimes we'd have a roast. Sometimes I would fix lasagna. Sometimes I would do a huge pot of soup. So we always did something different. And it didn't matter as long as we were all together. And then as the kids got older... I think we started having it at my parents again. And then a few times my sister would have it. She didn't have any kids, but her and her husband at the time would have it. They had it a few times. And now it's at my parents again because um, my dad's now in a wheelchair. So it is way easier because none of our homes are accessible for him. And my sister and I live opposite sides of my parents. So my parents are central. So it's a lot easier to have it there. I remember another Christmas I had wanted an engagement ring from my boyfriend. I think um, it was like a year after I graduated from high school and we'd been on and off for like four years. So I wanted an engagement ring and I wanted an opal. I didn't want a diamond. For some reason back then, I did not care for diamonds. I wanted an opal. So he gave me a gift. It was in a big box and it ended up being a new winter coat, which is a what it was a really, really nice coat. It was nice and heavy. I really liked it. But I was a little bummed out because I didn't get the ring. So then the next box he gave me was a box of Kleenex so that I could cry since I wasn't getting my engagement ring. But later on in the day, he did give me my ring. It, our relationship did, didn't last. So we, and we did not end up being married. Which probably was... A blessing well his parents say that um, because a year after him and I had broken up he was killed in a car accident so they said that there was a reason why we weren't together anymore Yep, so those, those Christmases, and I grew up all of my teenage years on a lake, so most of the time the lake was frozen over on Christmas Day, so we would go ice skating. Sorry, I forgot to turn my uh, sound off on my phone. Let me do that. <laughs> Okay, sound is off on my phone. I'm so sorry. I am. 
I like doing live streams. I used to only do videos. And I have learned <laughs> that I have to be careful what I talk about. Because <laughs> I was talking about things that I shouldn't have been according to my family. So they just kindly said, <laughs> please. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, <laughs> not a big deal. So I have a hard time making videos now and I'm much better doing live streams because you can talk to everybody. So I think what I'm going to do is I have a chat pack here and I will pull out and ask a question and I will answer it and then if you want to during the premiere you can answer it if you want to. So, let's see, I'm working on, I'm just making sure that I put the right diamonds in the right spot. And actually, I don't think I need this color that I just pulled out. Well, that's weird. Okay, I don't need this color. <laughs> I can put this back. Okay. So, where did I put, oh my gosh. I am like losing my mind right now. Where did I put the diamonds? Oh, there it is. I am usually more organized. I'm not having a very good weekend and my anxiety has been kind of bad this weekend. So just bear with me and you guys can laugh along in the premiere and pick on me because that's what I need. <laughs> I'll be okay in a couple days. I just needed to get this video done. So, first question. During the rush of the Christmas season, which chore, activity, or discipline do you tend to neglect the most? Well, first of all, I have a really hard time with Christmas. It's been like that for a few years now. I love Christmas. I used to really love Christmas, but with the commercialism and it starting out before Thanksgiving and everybody being in a rush to get everything up and shopping in that before Black Friday, it just kind of has ruined it a little bit. Because Black Friday is supposed to be on Friday. That, you know, the Macy's Day Thanksgiving is when you see Santa for the first time. Now he's in the malls and that I think before Thanksgiving. And everybody just kind of rushes. And I know if you're not from the United States, Thanksgiving is not a big deal to you guys. Which I totally got. I mean, you guys have your own holidays too. That we don't. But that's just me, and I have nothing against anybody else that, you know, likes to s start before Christmas. I just like to wait till after Thanksgiving. So it kind of has ruined it. Plus, with my son now working at Target, when he started working at Target, he did not have to be... He did not have to work on Thanksgiving. The store was not open Thanksgiving Day. And now he does because Walmart and all them are open, so Target is. So it's kind of sad that Black Friday starts actually on Thanksgiving Day. Hold on. I do like my Christmas music and I love the Hallmark Christmas movies, but I will I DVR them because now they're starting them in the end of October instead of waiting. So I DVR them and I wait till after Thanksgiving and then I'll start binge watching them. But 
and I don't know why they have to start them in October, why they can't make some really nice Thanksgiving movies instead. I don't understand <laughs> at all. So, so what is it that I tend to neglect? I would get so frustrated with the holiday that I never wanted my tree anymore until the week before Christmas. This year I ended up getting in the Christmas mood earlier and wanted the tree up the first weekend of December. So that's what we did. And I get a real tree. I don't care for fake trees. I want I love the real trees. And my cats don't I've never had a cat that bothered the tree. I've had a couple cats that I've owned that would take like the bottom ornaments off and play with them. But as far as bothering the tree itself, they didn't. So I've never had an issue with that. My dogs have never touched the trees. So I tend to put off decorating to the last minute and getting the tree this year was earlier than normal for me. And another thing I neglect, I don't know, I probably cleaning. Probably cleaning. I have a question and I'm I know you're not seeing this till Christmas night but at least for Eastern Standard Time what is it that was on your wish list this year and since you probably have already celebrated Christmas did you get what was on your wish list I really don't need anything. I have all the coloring supplies and coloring books that I want. I have like 12 diamond painting kits, so I'm good there. I don't need any more. And I've been buying cross-stitch stuff for 30 years, so I definitely do not need any more cross-stitch stuff, especially since I haven't been cross-stitching in a long time. But I have picked it up a couple times already this year, and I plan to set aside one weekend a month just to sit and cross stitch. So I can continue doing that. Piece of dog hair. Oops. It's been really good being able to pick up all the dog hair and my uh, canvas. So the only thing that I really want what is tea and stuff from Bath and Body Works. I don't need anything else besides that. I have everything I want. <clears throat> and my husband pays for me to get my nails done every two weeks so I don't want really anything from him. Plus he bought me a portable air conditioner for this room. This is my creativity room because this room gets very, very hot in the summer and I didn't want my markers and my colored pencils to get ruined. So he bought me a portable air conditioner for in here. So, I, you know, if I want something, he usually will buy it for me.
So yeah. So that was all that was on my Christmas list. <clears throat> Do any of you have any favorite Christmas songs or Christmas music? I love Pentatonix. I don't know if they do tours in other countries. I'm not sure about that. But um, they are really, really good. So I really like them. And I did not see them having a TV show this year. They've, they've had one for the past two or three years. But I didn't see anything on TV for this year. So, and I really love the Trans Siberian Orchestra. Do any of you bake for Christmas? I don't bake because we don't eat it and I have diabetes so I can't have all that sugar stuff anyways but I used to when the kids were little we would do um, Christmas cookies cutouts Christmas cutout cookies and some chocolate chip and chocolate crinkle cookies. But none of us really eat that stuff. And a lot of times I would make it and we would eat it and then get tired of it and I'd end up throwing some out so I don't bother anymore. And do you guys have favorite Christmas movies or cartoons? I love A Year Without a Santa Claus that has the, the um, Miser Brothers. <laughs> that's my favorite. And then The Year Without, the, yeah, that's The Year Without Santa Claus. And then Santa Claus is Coming to Town is my other favorite one with the Burger Meister Meister Burger. As far as movies, hmm, I like The Grinch. So I usually watch that every year. And Netflix has The Christmas Chronicles. It came out last year on Netflix. So I watched that the other day. I like the Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen. And... Christmas Vacation, of course, with Chevy Chase. What's the other ones? Oh, The Home Alones. I like those. I do own the Charlie Brown Christmas and Garfield's Christmas. I own quite a few of the children's they are mine. They are not my kids. They were mine. I bought them for me. And of course all the Hallmark ones. I am in western New York so it does get very cold and snowy. We don't always have snow on Christmas though. We sometimes do have a green Christmas which I don't care for. I want a white Christmas. <laughs> See, I love snow. It can snow all the time if I didn't have to go anywhere because I do not drive in it. But um, I love the snow. And I don't mind the cold. I don't like the heat. Um, the heat and humidity really bother me. So I am a winter snow person. 
Autumn is my favorite season, followed by winter. Okay, let's do another chat pack question. So if you were creating a movie about toys coming to life, which toy would be your main character? Oh, gee. As a kid, I probably would have said my Barbie dolls. I did not have baby dolls. My mom said that I didn't like baby dolls when I was a kid. So I didn't have those, but I had a ton of Barbie dolls and paper dolls. So I would have to say Barbie dolls. But yeah, I um that was pretty much it for toys. I had my Barbies, my paper dolls, and I also had Matchbox cars and Tonka trucks cuz I loved those too. And I colored a lot as a child. My grandparents were always buying me sketchbooks and markers and crayons and pastels and drawing pencils because that's what I did all the time. Okay. I think that's it there. So what toys would you want? Would <laughs> Who would be your main character if your toys came to life? <laughs> that is funny. I might have had teddy bears, but I don't remember them. I just remember Barbie dolls and paper dolls. Uh, let me check to see if I need this. Yes, I do. Actually, I wasn't done with the other one because I just saw a couple more I needed. Okay, let me go back in and do that. Okay, let's see what's the time on this. 33 minutes, so we still have time. I'm just going in and picking up some more of these to put here. that's it yep okay here's the other question because I like to do I like to do questions and stuff on my on my channel how many words beginning with the letter C can you think of that relate to the Christmas season? The letter C. Cookies, candles, um, I know there's a lot more. I'm just drawing a blank. What else? Hmm. Candy. Many words beginning with the letter C. Christ.
trying to think of a drink. Cranberries. Not, I can't come up with any other food or drink. Maybe you can. That's all I can think of. <laughs> That's what the discussion is while you guys are watching this. You can answer those questions. because you. Then you guys will be saying things. I'll be like, oh yeah, I didn't think of that. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that one either. Okay, let me think of another Christmas memory while you are thinking of the letter C. Um, I remember one year my boys were being horrible. All they did was fight for like September, October, and November. They were just horrible. And I told them if they did not behave, Santa Claus wouldn't be coming. And my youngest, who is my smartass out of both of them, just turned around and said, I don't care. We get other presents from other people. Yeah, that was his attitude. And so Santa Claus did not come that year. And they didn't seem to care. Because they got presents from other people. But they didn't misbehave again after that. I really didn't have... And I think that's the only year they were like that. I don't know what happened. They're two years apart. And they normally didn't fight. But I remember that Christ Christmas season leading up to Christmas. It was just horrible. And I don't remember how old they were. It seems like they were like five and seven. But yeah, Santa did not come and left a note about their fighting. But as far as them growing up, they really didn't fight much. They shared a room for a few years, but um, no, they weren't fighters. And most Christmases, I was a stay-at-home mom with them till, oh my gosh, from the time I was pregnant with Justin until Justin's senior year in high school, junior year in high school, I was a stay-at-home mom, and I made all my gifts. Everybody got homemade gifts. They were either cross-stitched. Most, 99% of it was cross-stitched. I think I did a few shirts I painted on. But 90, oh, got some more over here. 99% of the items were cross stitched. I did pictures and I did a lot of cross stitching on sweatshirts. My family loved those. And they preferred the homemade. In fact, we drew names on my in-laws side and my two sister-in-laws would fight saying that I needed to draw their names. <laughs> so it was always fun. They, we don't exchange gifts with the in-laws anymore, but it used to be fun when we did and they would um, fight over what are you going to make us. <laughs>
Okay, let's see if I need this symbol. And then I forgot an E over there. How do I keep forgetting one? Do you guys do that a lot? You're moving along and you get dumb, you put the color away and then you find one more. Well, just one more and sometimes I'll leave it for when I do the next section. But since I just put it away, I might as well just fix it. Come on. Just lift it up. Let's go. <laughs> okay, now where was it? Right there. Okay. Here's a good one. Do you have any ethnic or ancestral traditions that you honor during the Christmas season? No, not that I can think of. I am Ukrainian on my grandmother's side, and she did a lot of Ukrainian cooking. But as far as traditions and stuff during the season, no. What am I doing? Six is S. And I thought I saw an S. No, I didn't need this color. Okay. Guess not. See, all, the, all that I did above, I've used like every single color. And now I'm getting to where I don't need every single color. <laughs> Oops. I don't really know. I don't have any traditions and no family traditions. The only family tradition we used to have was um, my dad's side. My dad's the oldest of six. And so his whole side always got together on Christmas Eve. Always. Until a few years ago because my dad's the oldest of six. And then I think I'm the oldest of nine children. And then most of us are married and have kids. And it's there's way too many people. So for quite a few years, only my dad and his siblings got together. What is this? This is number seven. F. Um, they, were, they would go out to a restaurant and just be together. Um, but I think last year or the year before is when they started getting together again as a whole family. And we now rent out... Um, the event room at my aunt's church. So, yeah, and I didn't go last year, but I do plan on going this year, and this year it's the Saturday after Christmas. So, yeah, it's nice. I only get to see, we don't see the family enough, you know, and none of us live far away. We have, I have two cousins that live out of state. The rest, everybody's all local, but we don't get to see each other enough. color. Let's see, do I need this color? Nope, I don't see anything. Nope, I don't need that. Nine. Okay, here's one. 
Which job or occupation do you think would be the most rewarding around the holidays? Well, I know it wouldn't be retail work. <laughs> I think that their job is too stressful and I don't think that they're appreciated. So maybe, maybe playing, maybe Santa Claus, Santa Claus and his helpers. That's what I think. Open, oh, I did need one X. Okay, I did need one of that color. Just one. Let's grab it. Santa Claus, you know, the nurses and all that are always busy. The doctors are always busy during holiday. And probably more so, but I don't know if they're appreciated or if it's rewarding. I don't know about that. I just think maybe a program that helps. What do I want to say? A program, maybe like Make-A-Wish or something that helps children during the holidays to make sure that they, like Toys for Tots and that, I think that is rewarding during the holidays, is doing something like that. I don't think I need this color either. What do you think? Anything like that where they're like helping the families who don't have anything or don't have the money and they're being helped? I think that would be rewarding. You know, a lot of the churches help. I only need one of this color. Okay, so let's get this color. Is that what this is here? Oh, yep. Every once in a while, you know how you leave one out that falls out of the bag? I leave it in a small pile here, and I'm actually able to match it back up with my drills so that I don't lose any. Ouch. Oh, well, I think I can end it now. So I'm going to keep working on this. I hope that you all are having an amazing Christmas. And I want to thank you so much for asking me to join, and I hope I did this the right way. I did not know what to expect, <laughs> what to do. But it was fun. And I will be watching as many premieres as I can. The next one up after me is Crafters Anonymous with Terry. She is next. And I am hoping I can watch her if I can stay awake because that will be midnight. My, oh no, yeah, that'll be midnight my time. So, yep. And then that says that it is, hold on, it says Aussie Diamond Paintings, but when I clicked on it, it took me to her name, and it says Crafters Anonymous with Terry. So go check her out and watch her. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I usually have more to talk about. I am, I just didn't know what to talk about today. <laughs> and... If you like this, please click that subscribe button and click that little bell to be notified when I put up new videos or live stream. I do a lot of live streams. And 
again. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.